Well, good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. Among the many lessons those of us watching at home have learned this week, probably not a good idea to humiliate your FBI director on his way out. He will get you in the end, as indeed James Comey just has, leaking the contents of a memo he wrote back in February that alleged President Trump encouraged him to drop the investigation into former National Security Advisor Mike Flynn. In other words, to obstruct justice. The White House says this did not happen. It's the biggest story in the world right now. There's one problem with it, though. The FBI, uh, excuse me, the FBI director did not notify the Justice Department about this. So if it was an attempt to obstruct justice, what do we have? Watch this, a clip from earlier today on another network as someone tries to raise that question. Watch. Reports. Two former officials knowledgeable of the situation confirmed to CNN the main points of the story. Two formal, former officials. Tell you what, come out, name those people, then we'll have something to talk about. One, we protect sources. Two, it's not just CNN. It's Washington Post, New York Times, Wall Street Journal, CNN, who? ABC, yeah, but who, who NBC. Are the sources? Carl. Who are the sources? Oh, because they're hiding behind this in anonymity. Oh, Paul, and that's please. what we're seeing. Paul, please. Uh, Do not even start so with me that you're just going to attack sources. Okay, so, what about, so are you saying McMaster is lying? I'm not saying McMaster is are lying. You? Well, he didn't really answer the question. He didn't answer he the question. He said nothing inappropriate. He said, no, that's his opinion. That would be. But that's his opinion. That you that's cannot what, say, you cannot opinion. attack. Yeah. Do not attack the stellar I'm, reporters of CNN. Okay. Be skeptical, says the retired Navy SEAL. Be quiet, screams the 33-year-old news anchor, clapping her hands in rage. How dare you question the authorities, in this case the news media. Quote, you cannot attack the stellar reporters of CNN, she says, as if this settles the debate. Now, a lot of cable panels have unfolded like this recently, and that is a shame, because as we noted earlier, the world is a very complicated place, Washington especially. What you think is happening often really isn't happening. Here's what we know. There are an awful lot of people in Washington who would like to remove the president from office, and they're using leaks to do so. What are their motives? In a lot of cases, those are completely unknown. A lot of what you hear and accept uncritically, you ought to question. Take the Russians, for example. Just a few years ago, the Russians were considered harmless, toothless, drunken, and anyone who suggested otherwise was considered a holdover from the Cold War. Now. The Russians are considered evil, in fact, our most dastardly enemy, and anyone who questions that is probably a tool of Vladimir Putin and therefore a traitor to our country. One current member of the House Intelligence Committee put it this way. Why were the Russians in the White House? I, I, and I mean that uh, seriously, Willie. They had just attacked our democracy. Their being there is exactly what we have all feared all along, is that Donald Trump would say something to them that uh, is not uh, really in line with U.S. policy. They are not our friends. We should share uh, nothing more than pleasantries, uh, certainly not national security secrets. Well, Congresswoman Stephanie Murphy, she's a Democrat from Florida, went a step further than this. She demanded that the U.S. government stop speaking to Russia at all in any way. Quote, there's no such thing as appropriate contact with a hostile foreign government, she declared. No word on whether she applied that same standard to Barack Obama's recent deal with communist Cuba. Now, nobody is arguing here, even the Trump administration, that Russia is a close ally of ours or that the Putin government is rooting for America's success. They're probably not. But when a country goes from being an afterthought, as Russia was just recently, to the target of war drums, as it is now, and it all changes in a single election cycle, as it has, it's fair to ask what exactly is going on here. Almost certainly more than meets the eye, probably a lot more. And if you live in Washington, you know for a fact there's a lot happening behind the scenes. The press ought to be asking questions about this. But they haven't. Instead, they've attacked anyone who does. Well, not on this show.